I've got nothing to wear. This is a sentence every woman can relate to. I used to stand in front of a gorgeous wardrobe, feeling so spoiled for always wanting more. Well, guess what? It's not you. This is a market failure. My solution was to create a digital currency called diamonds. The diamonds enable you to trade fashion items with other women in your city. Imagine being able to enter any women's wardrobe. Being able to update your style on a daily basis. For those of you who don't know me yet, my name is Adi. I'm CEO and founder of Trench. People always tell me I need to be able to summarize Trench in one sentence, something like fashion economy, digital currency, marketplace, e-commerce, social network for fashion. But from the pilot we ran in Tel Aviv, a community of over a thousand girls, it became clear how outdated these business models are. The Trench Girls describe the Trench experience as shopping without opening your wallet. Trench is not about buying and selling, it's about continuously updating your style. It's about transforming those huge amounts of fashion items that you're not wearing, not only into resource for getting new ones, but into pure liquid assets, so you won't lose any of the value on the way. Other things we learned. We learned Trench plays an important role when it comes to reinventing your personal style. It allows you to experiment with fashion without the risk of committing into a shopping accident. What else? Our users say their shopping experience has changed. When you go to a store, you no longer buy one item. Every jacket, dress, shoes you have become a future trade in Trench. And now for the part I believe no startup can grow without. Community. Women love when other women are wearing their stuff and appreciating their style. They're making new friends, real friends, not just virtual ones. They're throwing trench fashion swap parties across town, inviting both their friends as well as women who used to be complete strangers before. They're contributing directly into growing trench even without our intervention. So who is trench? Our Tel Aviv pilot grew stronger than we ever imagined. The excitement of our active users can be shown amongst other statistics by the 30 minutes they each spend on a platform on the daily basis. We've built a product based on the pilot results and our insights that we gain from our users. We're now raising our second investment in order to penetrate the United States, taking it city by city until expanding globally. An A-team of four in technology, design, community, and economics is working to expand our offering. Millennials prefer accessibility over ownership, and the fashion industry is way too slow to respond. Trench is positioned to lead this revolution, aiming to become a global network of style. We are matching the millennials' mindset, not only in their consumption patterns, but also in their desire to inspire and leave their mark on others. Thank you. How does it work? How do I get into uh, the closet? How do I? You log into Trench. You take a picture of an item you want to trade. You upload it into your digital closet and price it in diamonds. Then another user enters your closet, because it's all about the users. You shop around the closets. And if they want your item, they'll purchase it from you and get it from you. And how does it? So we have the long-term vision, and we have the, what we do now. Long-term vision is that in every big city that you'll visit, you'll be able to open trench and right where you are, see things within your radius. That means that you'll be able to ask a girl to come downstairs for five minutes. If it's someone you already know, you can go into their houses and invite you. But you can not only get it faster than deliveries, but also make sure the item is in the condition you expect it to be. In order to get there, we have some training wheels until we hit this critical mass. 
Uh, one of them, for example, is pickup spots. So we have collaborations with local designers, local stores, and girls can drop off things and pick up from there, and the store gets free traffic into the store, so it's a complete win-win situation. I just want to say it was a wonderful pitch, and right on time, so first of all, good job. Um, Thank you. We're a sharing economy. A sharing economy is very challenging because, especially if it's a geolocated one, because it's both local and global. Uh, and it takes a, a very difficult time to tweak exactly what model works for you because you want every uh, dime that you spend to be very, very accurate. So I think the most challenging part would be really to understand how to hit critical mass as soon as possible and what this critical mass is and how to do it with the lowest uh, budget possible. So how many, just for calibration, how many items are currently available in Tel Aviv for me if I want to trade some or something? Um, girls are buying, in average, three items per month. No, wait, how many are available? In how many are available? Right now, the platform is open. Right now, it's a bit uh, different because right now our platform has closed before we're launching the new product. We're launching it this Thursday in Tel Aviv. Two weeks from now, we're launching it at Northwestern University. Um, and it's going to change because every item entrenched from now on, even if it was sold, will remain in the system. So basically, if I buy something, I can always resell it, and girls can ask to buy it. So it's not going to, uh, the numbers are just going to go up. So uh, I'm basically not renting it, I'm like buying it. It's mine now? It's yours now. You can look at it as like a library that you pay the fee for the book when you get it. So then you can decide if you want to return it or if you want to keep it. What happens if I return it? If you return it, it just means you're reselling it on Trench and you can get... So, so I have to resell it to someone else. If someone else wants my item, right? Exactly. Okay. Um, do you know a company called Notot? Yes, of course. All right. So we invested in Notot. It's a very interesting space. Um, I, I mean, I... I really believe that the future is where people will not have to buy clothes, but actually just rent them. Um, but you guys are actually selling those items. What happened <coughs> in the future where, where people will have not clothes anymore to sell? I mean, right now you have a wardrobe of a lot of items and you're selling them, but you're banking on the fact that in the future people will not have items anymore. That's a great question because what we see is basically the need of getting new stuff is there. This is actually what we're solving. This doesn't mean that women are not buying in stores anymore. We see us as a complementary service. I also still buy in stores. But as I said, it just fuels your wardrobe. So basically what you see in Trench as well is that even if I got rid of every single thing that I'm not using, new stuff I'm going to want to sell all the time because I'm just getting tired of them. Like just for example, like this dress, I'm not going to probably wear it anymore because I don't want you guys to see with me at another conference wearing the same thing. Well, I'll remember for sure. <laughs> so that's a great example of how ev all the time you need to put things away. And the business model is around exchange fee between diamonds and real money? Or how do you guys I expect it actually not to be. The whole idea with the diamonds is actually to enable women to shop without opening so their wallet. There are multiple options. Um, the second-hand market in the States is estimated to be $18 billion, 15 to 18 actually. But the unworn market is estimated to be, unworn items in women's closets in the States is estimated to be $50 billion. So we expect that if we'd be able to monetize this for our users in a way that won they won't lose the value of it, it would be worth for them in many ways, either a subscription, or in-app purchases, or complementary services. I think the possibilities are tremendous, and I think we won't know for sure until we are big enough to know which one will work. All right, give it up for Trench. Thank you.